<clears throat> hey man, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to another episode. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we are recording this back to back because we about to get into another fire part of the Dragon Ball Z series. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got the androids coming. We got the cell. We got cell coming. We got freezer coming back, man. We got trunk. Oh man, we just gonna get into it. We're gonna continue straight into the story. Uh, if you didn't watch the Namek, uh, the, the Namek, uh, part of it, um, like last episode or anything, man, go watch that, man. Goku goes Super Saiyan for the first time. Goku and Freeza going at it for pretty much the whole, you know what I'm saying, the remainder of the episode. Um, but it's just, it's just another fire episode, man. Uh, I'm enjoying this game. I hope y'all enjoying watching this, you know what I'm saying? All my DBZ fans, all my Dragon Ball Z fans, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know y'all enjoying this, so, uh, yeah, man. Um, it's going well. It's going well. I'm loving the series. Um... And yeah, without further ado, man, let's just get straight into it. If you uh, before we get into it, man, make sure you drop that like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and uh, make sure you hit that bell notification. Stay posted on the series, on the video, whatever. Just stay posted on the channel in general. You know what I mean? So, um, again, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for you know what I'm saying. Come over, you know, coming over here and then uh, and experiencing this with me. So, uh, yeah, man. Without without further ado, let's get let's get straight to it. Got my chocolate rice crispy. You know what I'm saying? Let me put y'all on. If, if y'all like chocolate rice cookies and you haven't done this already, leave it in the fridge. Leave it in the fridge so it get real cold and stuff like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Once it's real cold and all. Remember that's where we left off? Mom's always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Mm-hmm. You sure you want to hear the story? Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah. Goku's sure not thing. back yet. Just so y'all know. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. He's still on his way back from Namek. All this time yeah. passed, he's still on his way back. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. Mm -hmm. As a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Sales true fun. Look at Gohan. <laughs> this where Gohan really, really start peaking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen Gohan going crazy, but whoo. Oh, everyone's here already. <laughs> Bad man. Krillin, you felt it too, right? Hey, Vegeta. It's Frieza and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. Go on, got his hair back. Look at Yamcha's old hurt ass. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling <laughs> and lower your power levels. They have scouters after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo, <laughs> they're here. We get right to it. Excuse me. They landed over there. It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. No, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me. What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? <laughs> Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Mm -hmm. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. <laughs> this... this can't be happening! This makes me want to go watch the whole show back. Yes, yeah, sir, you cannot fly or keep glass while moving our bet. 
Talk to everyone about Freezer's invasion. Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? And to think we're going up against him again. Oh no! What are we going to do? How in the world did Frieza survive? First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Let's go, baby. This is my boy Trunks. My boy Trunks coming in, you know what I'm saying? Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes! Look, like he all robotic now. So, this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Fraser? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Talking nonsense. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? It's Trunks. <laughs> I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Mysterious youth. The mysterious savior from the future. Yes, sir. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! <laughs> well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! <laughs> Let's go, Trunks. Stop playing with him. Let's do it. Can I use the sword? Nah, huh? The only one dying here is you. It's over. Get down. Hmm. Oh, it's you. You came all the way here to Earth seeking revenge, but unfortunately for you. You're not gonna be able to carry it out. Ooh. Ooh. That's not a threat. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yes, sir. Stop playing with your. That thing lasted forever, didn't it? Stop playing with him. Chunk going crazy. You 
Super Saiyan. Why does Trunks go so crazy? <laughs> Freeza! <laughs> Impossible. My word. <laughs> yo, hey yo, you gotta chill, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Still got to chill. Gosh, damn. Those two huge powers, they're both gone. What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. Trunks got to chill, bro. Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more <laughs> than welcome to join me. What? <laughs> How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So what do we do? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. <laughs> Bomber can't fly, yeah. Hey, your choice is on stupid, yeah. Stupid. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Um. So, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. Mm. So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? H how did you do that? Unfortunately... I can't tell you that either. So <laughs> What's your name? Uh, that too. <laughs> you can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. Bro, if we go against Goku Black, yo! He should be here soon. <laughs> huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? <laughs> you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me. Who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? <laughs> Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? <laughs> Goku Super Saiyan Transformers is still... I guess I better go talk to him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure that's equipped. For you know what I'm saying, things get hectic. Now 
All right, we got it. We got it. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. <laughs> this good? So, what now? <laughs> now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Let's do it. <clears throat> it's my turn now! You really do look just like me. Yeah, pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. You're incredible, Goku. Hey, you're no slot yourself. I can see how you defeated Frieza so easily. supposed to defeat it. I was supposed to? What do you mean? If you only had arrived here earlier. But for some reason, I guess you couldn't come. Well, I wouldn't say that. I know a little instant transmission, instant yeah. Transmission. Instant transmission? What? Oh no! Here goes! Lend me your energy! I might have just changed history for no reason then. Changed history? How a nice little spa session you don't plan. Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? <laughs> Vegeta's son? <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. South City? <laughs> Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giroux. The Red Ribbon Army? 
That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. <laughs> I really wanted to fight those guys. You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. <laughs> Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... Boma. No way! Your mom isn't... Yes. She's right over there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Bulma? <laughs> Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. <laughs> to, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, <laughs> it just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be <laughs> born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. Trunks, my boy. That was a lot of dialogue right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. But you gotta love it, you gotta love it. Piccolo heard everything. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. <laughs> went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, 
Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? <laughs> My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. <laughs> Look at my ears. God dang. Relax, all right. I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Let's go, baby. Piccolo, explain the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunk's identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. <laughs> androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. <laughs> Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? <laughs> yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now. <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. <laughs> it's so weird hearing them say South City. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at nine. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. Mm. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a super saiyan, but mark my words. I <laughs> promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one saiyan here will always be me. All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Wanna train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Oh, we get to uh, go into the hyperbolic time chamber. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Headed towards Goku's house on the world map. Let's do it. We gone, y'all. Let's go. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Of course it's me. You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And go on. What are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> go who's playing everything that had transpired. <clears throat> what? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? <laughs> Come on, let Gohan train with me. Oh, fine, this is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chee chee. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chee Chee, and sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. <laughs> All right, since that's settled, let's go train. Goku, Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Time for the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I gotcha. Oh, shoot, my bad. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh... Okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on. Get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> uh... Uncle Piccolo. All right. I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. The lookout, where's the lookout? Kami's lookout, there you go. Important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Come here for me that Goku only had a few years left. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Hey! Goku! Yajirobi, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? 
Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You, you, shut it. You and Krillin are probably going to use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Yeah! Yep. Went a little too far. Corn, land of corn, sacred land of corn. There you go. But he's definitely good with a <clears throat> sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. All right, let's find these. Two. I think it was right around here. No. Hmm. I think that's one of them. Yes, sir. Oh, yo. Something. Want a tango? No way, you. What rank are you? Level 37. Hold on. Now you're gonna lay a hand on me, yo. Now you're gonna lay a hand on me. Level 37, my earth. Phew! Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. <laughs> well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. All right, uh, let's get another sage water. All right, ooh. Found some tasty looking food. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. <laughs> he doesn't look like he trains. And, oh, that's not sage water. There we go. All right. This... I got what you wanted. Awesome. I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Let me get hey, them Corrin, look, beans. I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop. You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. <laughs> hey, weren't you sleeping? <laughs> I was meditating, you idiot. All right. I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. Nice, nice. That took longer than I thought it would. Right. I better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Let's go. Now she sends me some coin. Let's go, them sends the beans. Yeah. Head toward yep. Blake Bog on the map.
Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. No, no, we can do with that. The whole time I've been gone, Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. Mm -hmm. He's even been training him. Uncle Piccolo. <gasps> Dad! Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Yes, sir. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? <laughs> Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. It sounds like he really toughened him up. So I'm grateful for that. Come on, go. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. I'm gonna save my son for last, dog. Is that all? That's enough, go on. You and I are strong, too. Just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Wow. I know they didn't just. Alright, 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 yeah. Take down Freeza. I need you guys to get stronger. Stronger than Freeza. I, I hope I can. Yeah. 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 how you guys fight now. Tell us. Your turn, son. Oh. Come on.
Let's go, Gohan. Let's go, Gohan. That's enough training for today. <laughs> Fine by me. Let's go, baby. Harder. You're good, son. Did well. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Right. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? <laughs> what? No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So... This is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah, speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself <laughs> off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. <laughs> Vegeta, yearning to undergo extra harsh training, began to make some special arrangements. That's when he would boom, and boom would make the little, you know what I'm saying? The little, little. He uh, trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. Mm -hmm. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct <laughs> something like that. Where is he? Bad man. I'm gonna buy that shirt. I'm gonna buy that shirt for real. In real life, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock that thing. Um, but all right, man. We're gonna we're gonna leave that episode. We're gonna leave off right here. All right, we're gonna end this episode here. Um, uh, man, it's it's gonna be exciting. Got the androids coming. We got cell coming. Man, it's just gonna be a whole lot. And then we got trunks too. And trunks gonna be back, man. I'm sorry if I just spoiled that, but for the DBZ fans, y'all know what y'all know. Y'all know. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, we're gonna end this episode here, man. It was an exciting episode, even though it wasn't like you know what I'm saying. Obviously, Frieza came just to get whooped again um, by Trunks, and uh, and Trunks filling this in. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen it? Um, but yeah, other than that, man. Before we get out of here, make sure y'all drop that like, subscribe for your boy, and make sure you hit that bell notification just to stay updated with the channel. You know what I mean? It's just a little, it's just less work for you. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah, other than that, man, if you was also new to the channel, if you new to the channel, man, I appreciate you tuning in. I'm glad you found us, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad, I'm glad y'all, y'all here. And, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, you already know what it is, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And, um, uh, uh, and yeah, man, to the next one. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm gonna catch y'all at the next one, alright? Peace.